Hey guys, welcome back to the Pressing Matters. I'm Scott. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you how um, I updated my VPI 16.5 in a small way. Um, if you are into vinyl, you probably have a vacuum record cleaning machine. If you don't, um, the VPI 16.5 is the granddaddy of all um, affordable vacuum record cleaning machines. It's been on the market for probably 30 years now and um, I bought mine about 25 years ago and I've not had one single issue and it's probably the greatest investment I've ever made in my vinyl collection. Um, vacuum record cleaning is essential I believe you know today there's ultrasonic as well um, I think that could be an adjunct to vacuum record cleaning but um, I wouldn't want to be without a vacuum record cleaning machine. And I was noticing um, after 25 years that certain parts needed updating. I mean, I would update the tubes every once in a while. Um, I think I've done it probably four times um, over the course of 25 years. Um, the unit was in storage for a while and I noticed one thing that I didn't like and that was this. <laughs> this is the vac, this is the drain tube and I don't know exactly what I did, but probably it got moldy the last time it was in storage and uh, I couldn't stand looking at it and thinking, you know, this is not good. <laughs> so I decided to attempt to replace it. And uh, at the same time, I bought a new cork mat. I bought a new tube. Um, I bought a new brush, a uh, new fluid and uh, pads to change my pads on these um, disc doctor brushes which I really like they're rubber they're curved they're really beautiful for uh, scrubbing the record I have two um, one is marked for uh, rinse and one is not so one is for cleaning one is for rinse I suggest you do that um, if you do you do a rinse which you probably should um, also having two tubes is, um, an advantage and actually two tube assemblies. Um, here, let me show you something. Since these pull out so easily, you could have an assembly for washing and an assembly for rinsing. And that way you don't have any cross contamination. Um, I am ordering a second one of these, uh, Delrin, um, vacuum tube supports so i will have two assemblies right now i have two tubes in this assembly but um for now um i've just ordered the avis uh i'm, I'm sorry uh audio intelligent um solutions uh number six which is a one-step um product so i'll be using that comp exclusively with this new um tube but I will uh, get a rinse tube going soon and we'll have, a, have both available. I suggest that's the way to go. Two brushes, two tubes, um, a clean mat, and a clean drain hose. So take a look at the video. One of the first things you want to do is when you remove it is take a look inside the tank. A stainless steel tank it looks pretty damn clean and there's no water in there so that's good that means you're able to tip it up if you need to um, it's recommended to see. Um, tip it up on its side so let's see what Take these screws out. Front, okay. Pull this 
So. Okay, so here's here's a stainless steel tank. But let's take a look at everything else here and make sure it looks good. That's going to be easy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this is just foam from Sonex or something. Yeah, the tank looks fine. This is a little rusty, but I think it's okay. Everything else looks really good. Very simple. This is the only thing that concerns me, is this here, but this uh, this gasket looks good. Overall, I'd say it looks really good. So, let's see if I can. I can't keep this. Let's see if I can take this off now. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. It's just coming off like that. Very simple. Yuck. So you can see, it's very simple. There. That's it. Just tighten her up. That's it. Beautiful new hose. Okay, so then this went on like this. So as you can see, that wasn't that difficult. Um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, so now I have new tubing. I have a new uh, vacuum tube. I have new cork mat. 
Um, and now I'm going to deal with the brushes. Um, the, I have two disc doctor brushes and um, I'm going to replace the pads on them. I did make a video um, starting this procedure, which did not come out right. There was a sound problem. So in that part, I am removing the adhesive, um, removing the old pads um, from the from the handle. So you won't see that part, but from here on out is the rest of the procedure. So take a look. So that adhesive layer is gone now. Um, just simply roll it up with your fingers, um, get it off there. I cleaned it with uh, some simple green, but you could use alcohol, I'm sure. But you want to make sure there's no globs of glue or anything on there um, before you start the procedure. Yeah, so um, I realized while I was heating these up to 80 degrees, uh, in the sunshine that you don't want to touch this if you don't have to. Um, I wish I had some cotton gloves, uh, some white cotton gloves. I, I used to have some to handle my um, basis uh, acrylic platter and turntable, um, but I don't have them any longer. Um, so I'm going to have to just wash my hands extremely well and try to reduce any oils on my hands before I put this on. So if you don't have uh, white gloves to do this, um, wash your hands in Dawn dishwashing liquid blue. Um, it cannot have any conditioners in it. You want it to be just remove all the grease and oils from your hands and dry with a lint free towel. Um, that way you can handle these pads. It'll be OK. It's not going to be the end of the world. So um, I'm almost ready to do this. Uh, I just noticed on this little card that they include with this doctor brushes that um, they need to be warmed to 80 to 90 degrees. So I don't have a thermometer to test that, but I'm just going to go in the sun for a little while and warm these up. Um, so recently I've been thinking about keeping all of my accessories that I need at hand, like, um, oh, I don't know, a stylus timer, the stylus cleaner the Milti, um, my cleaning brushes for the VPI and so forth. And I found this really neat box. Um, it's like a leather box um, with a velour lining and little compartments. So um, I'm going to clean this up and this will be where all my accessories go. And I think that's really kind of cool. Um, if this were sold as an audio accessory, it would be like $500, but I found it at a thrift shop. So I don't know what it was used for. There's no brand name on it. Um, I think it was maybe for jewelry or for men's jewelry or something like that, P possibly. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Can't wait to use that. Okay. I just brought these back from out in the sun. This curled a little bit. I hope that's not an issue. But they're nice and toasty. Um, should be about 90 degrees. Um, okay, so this is like rocket science. Okay, so peel with the fabric toward you, peel a corner of the tape film and fabric toward you. Okay. Don't pull the fabric off the tape. Uh-huh. Okay. Got it. Oh, the fat. The adhesive is definitely on the tape. Okay. <clears throat> um, pull the paper back upon itself to expose part of the tape film. Got it. Okay. Align a short side. Oh, wait a minute. I think I skipped something. When a corner is free, peel about a third of the backing paper back upon itself. Okay, a third. Got it. Yeah, it's about a third. 
Okay, and um, line a short side of the pad with the exposed adhesive. Now this is what I don't get. How do you get this centered? I think I got it. Okay. Seems to be an equal amount of tape on both sides. Okay. Peel the rest of, okay. That's kind of like putting the glass on your iPhone. Let's see if this is gonna be centered. Uh, it could be a little better, actually. Let's see if I can reseed it. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Good enough. Smooth it down. Ah, okay, so that's where we're at. It's not exactly centered, but it's pretty good. Reseed if necessary. Wrinkling is prohibited. Roll the edges of the pad onto the handle sides. Okay, let me put a piece of plastic down <clears throat> in case this is dirty. Long, okay, if there's a little bit of adhesive here, it says to use your finger and adhere it down. Like that. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> All right, that's good. Make sure it's nice and tight. There you go, brand new, love it. So there you have it. Um, I've updated all aspects of my cleaning regimen from the fluid to new tube, uh, vacuum tube, to new drain tube, new cork mat. Um, I've inspected the system. I've dealt with the brushes. Um, I have a new VPI brush for spreading fluid. And I have the two disc doctor brushes now redone um, with new felt. So everything is in order. Um, with vinyl, cleanliness is next to godliness. And you've got to have clean vinyl to have the best result. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know it's a little long-winded, but um, I thought it was important to um, show you some of these things. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day. <music>